Bueno, voy a, voy a seguir un ratillo con The Whisperer World. Que si no lo llevo por el capítulo 3, o sea que parece que hay cuatro capítulos. Y bueno, o sea que la cosa va rápida. There are only stones, debris, and desperation here. No thanks. I already feel as if I have stones in my stomach. What's this? Another secret mechanism? Oh my, how I hate these things. Mm, nothing. What have we here? Another secret mechanism? Oh my, how I hate these things. Once again, I'm standing before closed doors. And instead of a lock, there's just this picture of a skull. That can't mean anything good. Maybe they only let you in if you've already killed someone. Or you have to be dead yourself. <laughs> hey ho, unknown erectors of the intimidating gate, a depressed clown, and his dim-witted pet caterpillar seek immediate admission. If they still refuse to open the gate, I'm at my wit's end. Phew, this gate is tightly closed, but I'm happy that I've tried because now I know. And this knowledge gives me comfort beyond the fact that I just dislocated my shoulder. Cute, if you like Chinese lanterns. Uh, no, I'm allergic to Chinese lanterns. So it's strictly psychosomatic, it's still a real medical condition. Corona resides on a narrow rock spire. It doesn't seem to be any way up there. How shall I ever reach that place? I don't think anyone will hear me if I call out. I don't think anyone will see me if I wave. I'm not saying anything derisive now. After all, Stones have proven to be quite useful during the course of my journey. Right, the builders of this massive steel door will really be impressed. Oh look, a little clown with a stone. We'd better let him in quickly before he scratches the door. That doesn't burn. Mm, no, the stone isn't heavy enough to keep the platform down. <sighs> if you want a job done well, you have to do it yourself. Mm, nothing. Oh my, if I'd known earlier how complicated saving the world would be. Cute, if you like Chinese lanterns. Uh, no, I'm allergic to Chinese lanterns. So it's strictly psychosomatic.
Nothing. que esto va cambiado yo tenía que formar una, una calavera pero no estaba al principio ya formada Nothing. Nothing.
Nothing. Parece que más o menos forma una calavera. ¿eh? Yippee, ah. finally I managed to open the gate of hell. What kind of horrific flying creatures are those? Looks like they're preparing for an attack. What kind of horrific flying creatures are those? Looks like they're preparing for an attack. I'd better not draw any attention. Those creatures sure look dangerous. Spooky. I prefer to let him rest in peace. If I were dead, I wouldn't want anybody messing with me. I'm not afraid of you. You hear me? I hear voices. There seems to be some kind of a conference. Maybe I can listen in for a bit. Thorny, come here. Why does it take you so long? What is it, boss? The time has arrived. The king is getting weaker and weaker. The troops shall stand by. Our patience will finally pay off. Yes! Our time has finally arrived. Time? Ta Do not talk of things you don't understand. The world breaks up. Everything that has structure will be washed away by the stream of time eventually. All that remains is dust and rust. Mold, debris, and endless pain. You are talking of your wounds, boss. It's the passing of time that gets to me. It's like poison for me. It gnaws at my flesh. It eats through my blood. Like it eats through the land that slowly collapses before our very eyes. It's the king's fault. He has the power to prevent it, but he is too... Gutless and hides in his chambers. He will suffer for that. That is true. Yes. You will crush the king like a slug. You will dissect him and dance on his remains. And the masses will hail you. Trample harder, trample harder. Gorney. And they will sing. Asgilla! Asgilla! Gorney! And then there will be a big celebration and colorful penance! Gorney! There will be no laughs under my reign, Gorney. No penance, no music. This world is a broken down place, a place of doom. A place of death. Singing and dancing? Fuck! That is over now. The king's number has come up. 
Now, go back to your post. I want to inspect the troops. These must be the Askel. And you're planning an attack on the king. Oh, what have I gotten into now? It seems to be some kind of plan, but it's hard to tell from up here. What kind of peculiar stone discs are these? Oh. A rope, and it's within reach. Today must be my lucky day. That looks useful. Too bad I can't reach it. Hmm. I think I could make something out of this. A stone attached to a rope. Well, you take what you can get. I can't reach it. What kind of peculiar stone... No. But doing a great job, I might add. What kind of creature was that? I guess I don't really want to know. I'd better not get too close to him. He looks pretty mean. I better not go any further. The guard will notice me. I should avoid a direct confrontation. I'll have to overpower him somehow. Hmm. The plan obviously needs something else. Like, more of a plan. It's attached quite firmly. And at very moment, the jolly little clown slew the fierce creature with a heavy stone. <sighs> I've not really descended to that level, have I? <gasps> Dear, I've always been bad at untying. It's a good rope. It's already proven to be quite useful. I can't take it. It's fastened at the far end. I did! Could have thought I'd be able to do something like that. I'd better not wake him. I don't want to think about what he'd do to me. I'd better not wake I don't want... Once again, I'm standing before closed doors. No, it's firmly locked. That's a plan of action. Oh my! The Askel really planned to attack Corona. I can't stop the Askel from carrying out their plan this way. What kind of peculiar... I need some kind of a beater. Hey, Spot, do you have any idea what this is? I didn't think so.
Oh dear, Spot, the Askill plan to attack Corona. Do something, will you? Hey, Spot. I didn't... What's going on here? Hey, wake up! Uh-oh. Uh. What has happened? Who did this to you? An intruder? In my headquarters? Just wait! Who dares to... What? <laughs> well, who have we here? A little snoop. Uh, uh, what? Uh, a snoop? No, no, no. M my name is Shadwick. I'm just a clown. A harmless little clown. Nothing else. Are you aware of where you are, little clown? I... I must have taken the wrong turn somewhere. Taken the wrong turn? <laughs> yes, indeed. I have good news and bad news for you, Sadwick. The bad news is you have made a very, very stupid mistake. Oh, and the good news? The good news is it was your last mistake. Tony! What's up, boss? Take this intruder to the cell. I want to ponder in peace and decide how I'll punish him for his stupidity. <laughs> oh dear, that's not good. Not good at all. I can see water down there, if that's what you can call this muddy brew. No, the grate lives up to its purpose. No way to escape. Help! Of course not. Finding something useful in here would be like the proverbial needle in... Hey, it's just a moment. There really was a needle in this haystack. Somebody up there is trying to make a fool out of me. It seems that the sun has risen now. It seems that the sun has risen now. Hey? Hello? What's going on in there? What do you want, you fool?
Let me out. A bold wish. What could possibly make me do such a foolish thing? I'm innocent. <laughs> yes! The innocent taste the best. So tenders! <sighs> it's a mistake to keep me imprisoned here. I have to prevent the end of the world. Yeah, it really. It, it, it came to me in the vision. I know it sounds crazy. And improbable. And totally made up. And because I can't prove it in the least, naturally wouldn't see a reason to let me out of here. Oh. Smart boy. I gotta go pee. What about it? Uh, maybe you could take me somewhere else now? To some kind of an actual bathroom? Uh, uh, a piss pot? Uh, whatever. What do you think the shoot in your cell is for? Ew. Uh... Maybe I could join you. Oh, you already joined us. I... Oh, yeah? I did? I mean... What do I do? Think hard. For what reason could us Askill need a clown? I give up. Haven't got a clue. Well, some people don't like clowns. But we Asgill have strong stomachs. We don't care if anything tastes funny. Never mind. Just let me croak in here. That's what we had planned. Yes. I... I want to talk to you later. You really want to talk to the boss? To the great Luko? Yes. Yes, that's what I want. He doesn't want to talk to you, though. I'm hungry. You want something to eat? Well, here's something for you. Ah! What? What exactly is this? It's not by any chance... spot. <laughs> no, it's the remains of the mild juice soup. The boss didn't want it anymore. So he didn't want to eat this? He must be a real gourmet. You have no idea. It's the third time this week that he has ordered the execution of a cook. I want to complain to the cook. <laughs> you are hardly in a position to do that. Besides, the cook is missing at the moment. He's missing? He has displeased the boss. Yes. So he went into hiding. I was supposed to go look for him, but a certain prisoner won't stop making a fuss. 
You might as well go looking for the cook. I won't make any more of a fuss. You will keep quiet, yes? Cost my heart. Don't you dare make the slightest sound while I'm away. Sound? Hick, it's enough to make you think Grandpa is a celebrity chef. A moldy old wooden spoon. With this, my getaway should be a piece of cake. Hick, it's enough to make you think Grandpa is a celebrity chef. Hey. A needle in a haystack. Am I supposed to be pleased with that? I can see a kind of a canyon through the grating. There's no sign of the guard whatsoever. I have enough self-esteem left to refrain from rattling at the grating. I should be able to push the key out of the keyhole with this. If my stubby fingers don't thwart my plans again. Well, I knew it. I can't push the needle far enough into the lock. I'd need some kind of extension. Hey? Hello? Hmm. There's no sign of the guard whatsoever. Given the choice, I'd rather eat the needle. Let's see. If I attach the needle like this, I get an unshaped, uh, what you might call it, uh, half spoon, half needle. It's a spoodle. <sighs> well, better than nothing. Hmm. I could try to loosen the key from the keyhole with this, but it would just fall down on the other side and I'd never see it again. That wouldn't make it worse, but it wouldn't improve it either. Hey? Hmm. I don't see how that would help me. No thanks, I already have enough. That wouldn't make it worse, but it wouldn't have... I didn't come here to eat, more likely to be eaten. <laughs> Let's get rid of that thing. There are still sticky leftovers on it. Ew. I should be able to push the key out of the keyhole with this. If my stubby fingers don't thwart my plans again. Hey! I made it! I should savor this triumph as long as I can. I bet I'll get caught again soon. I can't open the door like this. The key is glued to the tray. 
It really would be an auspicious occasion if something ever worked on the first attempt. I'd better concentrate on how to get... I should be able to free the key with this. Yuck. Now my hands are all sticky. Hmm. The guy doesn't seem to be anywhere near at the moment. All right. It can't get any worse, can it? Although, I've had that same thought before. The drawbridge is closed. I never reached the other side this way. But, let's be positive. There are plenty of opportunities to get killed on this side, too. The rope is keeping the bridge closed. No, I can't do it with bare hands. That's where the Askel horn the knives they use for disemboweling fleeing prisoners. Oh dear. I hardly have any fingernails left to file. That's not surprising, considering all the excitement. Empty. Empty. Room of Gluttony. Anyone who wants to eat off the floor can bring his own garbage. Yummy. Sounds mouth-watering. There's neither a handle nor a keyhole on this door. How could anyone ever get in there? Pretty nasty. Hygiene seems to be a foreign concept to the Askill. Strange. I'd have bet the Askill ate with their fingers. Oh my, this table is sticky. It must have been years since anybody cleaned up. The soup's starting to get cold. What are they asking waiting for? Why doesn't anyone come to lunch? It's swarming with flies. The stench of decay must attract them. Am I supposed to catch flies with my bare hands? That's an overestimation of my abilities. Can you believe it? I, I did it! Wow! I'm more dexterous than I thought. I think I'm now. It's swarming with flies. The stench of decay. Great. If I don't starve to death down here, I'll die of a fungus allergy. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Typical. I'm even too weak to pick mushrooms. Hmm. Cute. And who might you be, little fellow? Kerba? You're quite a funny little guy, aren't you? You hungry? Hmm. Kruba doesn't seem to be particularly interested. You hungry? Hmm. Kru Pretty nasty. Hygiene seems to be a foreign concept to the Askill. Fire's very weak. 
Mildew soup. Well, I'm not really convinced. I'm not sure. I shouldn't start cooking without a proper recipe. I don't have to taste it. I'm cooking according to the recipe. A gong. At least I don't have to be able to read music for that. I need some kind of a beater. Yuck. That looks exactly like Grandpa's kitchen. I'd rather cook with fresh ingredients. Or at least with ingredients that won't fight back. Yuck. That looks exact. I'd rather cook with fresh... Yuck. That looks exactly like... It isn't boiling properly. The fire is much too weak. <sighs> Darn asthmatic lungs. I should get some more heat under the cauldron. The fire is very weak. I'd better put some more tinder on it. There. That should do. Hey, Ledge! The soup is ready! You hungry? Hmm... Cro- Its only purpose is to spoil people's appetites. No, that doesn't need grinding. There's a lock on the valve's control wheel. The pressure level is way down. A complicated mechanism, and to top it off, it's out of reach. Ah, great. The obstacles are now teaming up against me. Is that beam supposed to stick out like that? This whole construction seems a little ramshackle. Yuck. Yuck. I'd really like to, but it's locked. No, that's just a display. It's much too high to reach. Like the goal as I've set myself. I'd love to, but I can't reach it. I didn't come here to eat. More likely to be eaten. No animals were mistreated during the course of this game. Except Spot, that is. No. All that's missing is the key. No. The 
Astiel are obviously preparing for an attack. Hello? Is somebody in there? I guess that was a no. Oh, they're gone. I almost suffocated again. But never mind. <laughs> Those morons will never find me. Never. I am so clever. Dooby dooby doo. <clears throat> the cook is the cleverest fellow. Nobody finds the place where he hid. They're searching in every dark hollow. <clears throat> They're searching in the darkest of. What? How? Oh, huh? Oh. That's not a bad hiding place. <sighs> I have a good mind to hole up, too. Hey! Stop that! That's not a bad hiding place. <sighs> I have a good mind. Nobody will get him out of there in a hurry. Hey, you! Hey, you in that suit of armor. Hello! I found you. Don't pretend now. I know you're in there. But I'm not. I can see you. Maybe you suffer from hallucinations. Ah, <sighs> so you're an hallucination that answers questions? Let's see. Who are you? I'm nobody. Just a figment of your imagination. Why would you hide then? I'm not hiding. I'm not here at all. Oh, in that case, I can go and tell everyone your hiding place. What? No! What are you doing in there? In here? There's nobody in here. Just go away. Why shouldn't I give you away? Because you're an honest person. I'm not a betraying Asgill. If you're not in there, the hiding spot would be unoccupied, wouldn't it? Yes, yes, but I... So I could go and tell everyone. No damage done. What? Who do you want to tell? Well, who do you think? I'll tell it to the Lisping Guard. <laughs> that doesn't scare me. You don't even know his name. His name is... Gurno. Oh. Oh, yeah. So, what are you gonna tell him? I'll tell him. I know where the cook is. All right. Go ahead. I know that you're just bluffing. Why shouldn't I give you away? Because you're an honest person. If you're not in there, the hiding spot... Yes, yes. So I could get... What? Well, who I tell <laughs> you don't need his name is Oh, so what is I'll tell him I All right. I know that you're just bluffing. See you later. Please, stay away and don't forget. The Astiel are obviously preparing. The Astiel are obviously. Something about this wall strikes me as odd, but there's nothing here. I must have been mistaken. I guess that'll be my lot as well.
<sighs> Phew. I can't even push it over. Something about this wall, but there's nothing. I must have been mis. Something about, but there's nothing. I must have been mis. No, there's nothing here. I could have sworn, though. Oh, never mind. Open sesame. Melon. Ken sent me. The Askiel are obviously per Eating and fighting. The Askiel don't seem to do much else. Hey! Down here is where it's happening. Oh, it's just... Why should... Because you... If you're not a... Yes, yes. So I could go with... What? Well... I tell it to your book. <laughs> that doesn't scare me. You don't even. His name is Lacour. Oh, uh, oh yeah. So, what is it? I'll tell him. I know where the cook is. All right. Go ahead. I know that you just. Why should? Because you... if you're yes. Yeah. So I what? Well. I tell it to <laughs> you don't His name is Luco. Oh, so what I'll tell him. No, don't do that. Please, I'm begging you. Luco will kill me. Okay, once again. Why are you hiding from Luco? Well, why do you think I messed up his favorite dish? Like the last three cooks. But I don't want to end up like them. Please don't give me away. What is his favorite dish? Mildew soup. Yuck, Grandpa used to make that too. Hey, it's a traditional Asgill dish. A real delicacy. Mind you, the mildew soup was way better than his wart stew. It's not easy making a good mildew soup, you know. The recipe is an ancient secret. Only the very best cooks can make it right. But you know the recipe. Basically, yes, but not really that well. It never comes out right when I make it. And now Luco wants to turn me inside out. Oh dear, oh dear. Can you tell me the recipe? Never. It's a secret. Hello, Luco. Ha. I'm not scared. You're bluffing. I know where the cook is. Don't strain yourself. I'm not impressed. Just quit it, okay? Up here in the armory. Okay, okay. You win. I'll tell you the recipe. But quit screaming, will you? <laughs> now I'm curious. Well, you need something from the air. Something out of the ground. Something from the water. And something from yourself. What? Why don't you listen? Something from the air. Something out of the ground. Something from the water. And something from yourself. Just a moment. That's not a recipe. That's a line for memorizing three of the four elements at best. I don't know anything else. Just leave me alone. See you later. Please. 
Stay away from me. And don't forget, you've never seen me. Okay? Something from the air. Just a moment. Something from the water. Something out of the ground. Something from the air. And something from myself. No, this isn't part of the recipe. What kind of noise is that out there? Just wait! If I miss the gong for mealtime, heads will roll! Yeah, that needs sharpening very badly. Ouch! Sparks in the eye! Sparks in the eye! Shoot! Finally, the road to the lion's den is open again. Gwenny must have lost it when he was knocked out. <laughs> You'll soon get over your singing, little birdie. I've heard the cook makes an excellent caterpillar soup. <laughs> Relax. It isn't your turn yet. Today, there's mildew soup on the menu. And you'll keep me company for the time being. The smell of fear helps me concentrate on my strategic planning. I could be wrong, but does Spot seem more frightened than usual? No, the Askew boss would notice me. That looks useful. Too bad I can't reach it. A coin! Eating and fighting. The act. Eating and. F Forget it, Shadwick. Just keep still. Very still. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I can't reach. Some kind of rodent seems to have gnawed a hole in the door. That's strange, considering that there are leftovers everywhere.
I don't need to tie that together. Keep that thing. I'd better keep that thing. There's neither a handle nor a keyhole on this door. How could anyone ever get in there? I don't see how I could open the door. Obviously, somebody wants to... I don't see how I... Obviously... I don't see how I could open obviously. I don't see how obviously. It's much too high to reach. Like the goal as I've set myself. Maybe I could throw the rope up there. But why? It wouldn't hang on. I don't need to tie that together. I don't need to tie that together. I don't need to tie that together. I don't need to tie that. I don't need. Hey, down here is where it's happening. Oh, it's just you again. <laughs> what was the recipe again? Can't you remember anything at all? You need something from the air. Something out of the ground. Something from the water. And something from yourself. See you later. Please. Stay away from me, and don't forget, you've never seen me, okay?
Right. If I don't starve to death down here, I'll die of a fungus allergy. Something out of the ground. One probably has to hunt his own food around here. You hungry? Hmm. Kruba doesn't seem to be particularly interested. Rubber has his jaws firmly locked around the club. Just a moment. Something from the water, something out of the ground. Something from the air, and something from myself. No, this isn't part of the recipe. Oh my, this table is sticky. It must have been years since anybody cleaned up. Empty. Empty. Hello? Echo? Go, 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 go. I'd better keep that thing. I'd better keep that. I'd better keep that thing. I'd better keep that thing. I'd better keep that thing. No, that doesn't need grinding. 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 That's not necessary. The knife's sharp enough now. Let's see if I can give this little gem a final polish without losing my fingertips, that is. Oh dear, I seem to have overdone it a bit. The coin is sharp like an arrow now. A coin! After we get out of here, I'll buy some proper food somewhere. The Askia seem to spend most of their money on weapons. The Askia seem to spend more. My handiwork resembles an arrow in a way. My handiwork resembles an arrow in a way. There. 
The Ashdale are obviously preparing for an attack. Forget it, Shadwick. Just keep still. I can't reach it. That's not an answer. But even so, he's still sure to be grinning. I've only got one shot. I shouldn't waste it. I'd love to, but I can't reach it. Hmm. I think I could make something out of this. Well, here we go. Stay here! It's depressing. I'm simply too slow to catch a toad. I think the mouse was going to be for the... for the sap. This that is constantly pegging. The trap is set. He presents himself on the proverbial silver platter. Ha! Look who's laughing now. Well, at least it's not you either.
he presents himself on the proverbial silver platter. Something from the water. I don't have to taste it. I'm cooking according to the recipe. The Askill are armed to the teeth. I don't have to taste it. I'm cooking according to the recipe. And now to add something from my chef. Amazing! It worked! I can cook! It actually paid off that I never looked over Grandpa's shoulder. Ich schütte sie erst einmal wieder zurück. Hey, Ledge! The shelf is ready! Ah! Finally! The mealtime gong. Gorney seems to have found a new cook already. I hope for his sake that he prepares a better mildew soup. I'm beginning to run out of staff. Ah! Nothing smells better than correctly cooked mildew soup. Perhaps I've ordered the execution of the cook prematurely. No, it's firmly locked. But I'm getting you out of there. I still don't know how, but don't worry. I, I'll come up with something eventually. Oh dear, Spot, the Askill plan to attack Corona. Do something, will you? I guess I could reach through there, but I might as well use the door. No, I can't reach him. Not a chance. Spot's much too big for this tiny hole. Come on, Spot. Use the mouse hole. Get out of there immediately. Spot! I think Spot did that very well. I'm very proud of him.
Come on, Spot. I want to get out of here. No, it's firmly locked. por dónde se supone que se sale. Por los parrotes quemándolos con el bicho. He's not that useless. And here is where it's happening. Oh, it's just you again. <laughs> what was the recipe again? Can't you remember anything at all? You need something from the air. Something out of the ground. Something from the water. And something from yourself. See you later. Please, stay away from me. And don't forget, you've never seen me. Okay? Something about this wall strikes me as odd. But there's nothing here. I must have been mistaken. Hey, Spot. Would you say there's something strange about this wall? Do you like plaid house slippers? You don't even listen to me, do you? Hey, Spot. Do you like... You don't even... Hey, Spot. Do you like plaid... You don't even... No. If there's a hidden mechanism here, that's not how it's triggered. It's much too high to reach. Like the gold is... No, all that's missing is the key. Nothing else. I tried teaching Spot to crack locks, but he's just too stupid for that. can't reach it. The spot would be the last one to do so. He's much smaller and weaker. So there. No, that's just a display. He's asleep. The crucial question is... For how long? Oh, no. Got it. Now let's get out of here. Fast. That's Luko's key. I still don't believe that I stole from the Askia boss. I don't see how I could open the door with that. Obviously, somebody wants to anno- <laughs> The 
pressure level is at mark one. That's not necessary. It's already turned up to max. There's neither handle nor a keyhole on this door. How could anyone ever... Just a second. There is a secret passage after all. I'd really like to, but it's locked. Something about this wall strikes me as odd, but there's nothing here. I must have been mistaken. Something about this wall, but there's nothing here. I must have been mistaken. Pressure level is at Mark 2. There's neither a handle nor a keyhole on this door. How could anyone ever get in there? Empty. Apart from the needle, there's nothing more to get from here, except lice, perhaps. Let's go, Spot. Show your stuff. Wait a second. I'll close the door. I don't want all of us getting to see the smoke. Forget about Asgiria before I die of smoke poisoning. There's a lock on the valve's control wheel. You have more blood chili pies. Esto de que en las aventuras gráficas aciertas las cosas por suerte, no sé. The pressure level is at mark three. There's neither a handle nor a keyhole on this door. How could anyone ever get in there? Y al final lo que sabría ser esta puerta, pero... No, it's firmly locked.
there. I can't stop the Asker from carrying out their plan. Sensor. This is the uglier of the two trophies. No, I take that back. This trophy is really the uglier one. Ah, uh, I can't make up my mind. They're both ugly, that's for sure. Most cozy, if it wasn't for the fact that an Askia is likely to show up any minute to throw me in. What is this? Some kind of fork? The Askia have quite a lot of cutlery lying around. Almost cozy, if it wasn't for the fact that an Askia is likely to show up any minute to throw me in. It's warm enough. There's a lock on the valve's control wheel. Another one of those peculiar secret passage gongs. To where I am. I'll leave the door ajar so I won't have to walk all the way around again. The pressure level is way up. The mechanism should work now. Probably reach the chain by a cat's whisker, but what would that accomplish? No, it's firmly locked.
No. From this side of the door, only the gong mechanism can open it up. It's locked. What am I, crazy? The Haskell boss would catch me flat-footed. That whole thing looks pretty shaky. I'd better not draw any attention. If the Askill find me here, they're likely to peel the skin off my bones. It's locked. It's locked. That whole thing look
Get into that. I can't reach it. That could actually work. O sea que todo esto era para coger el cubo. Puede ser. There's a hole in the bucket, dear Henry, dear Henry. Especially for me. Oh, I want to go back to my cell. I still can't believe I was able to get away from them. Corona. How shall I ever reach that place? I'm getting all dizzy thinking that I used that thing. Ask a lift down there. I still can't believe I was able to get away from them. 
I'm not saying anything derisive now. After all. I won't throw that away. Besides, I might still need it. Corona resides on a narrow rock spire. It doesn't seem to be any way up there. How shall I ever reach that place? Hmm, there's nothing growing here at all. To my height? Shoot! No, I wasn't. I'm not even much good at innuendo anymore. The birds look quite comfortable there. It could be difficult to scare them away from the flower bed. Shoo! Hmm. That'd be a first. If somebody actually did what I say. Shoo! Hmm. Those must be Grandpa's pantaloons again. How on earth did they get here? Hey! Keep your hands off my laundry! The inscription on my tombstone will read, Though he could not save the world, his knowledge of the regional clotheslines was excellent. Extra, 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 extra small. So cute. Those tracks don't really inspire confidence. He's a mean fellow. Hey there. Stop, stop it, you scatterwags. Not half a step further. How did you come across those pantaloons over there? Actually, that's a strange story. And pretty embarrassing. So the truth goes with me to my grave. Can you help me? That depends. With what? I have to get to Corona really fast. To Corona? Ah, forget it. The train doesn't go there anymore. A train? What train are you talking about? I told you to forget it. The line has been discontinued. You'd better find another way. What other way is there to Corona? Mm. Well, to be honest, the train was the only way to Corona. But I already told you. It doesn't go there anymore. I've got Askill hot on my trail. The Askill can come if they want. I'm prepared for that. You're through with life? No. I've placed some traps. I will destroy the world. Well, that's what I want to. So what? I take my advice. Don't spread that around. People don't really appreciate that kind of thing. I'm forced to talk to wound up screwballs all the time. Really? I hardly ever have to do that. This week has been the first time, actually. Everything is so horrible. The Asker want to attack Corona, the world will end, and it's all my fault. Oh boy, what kind of a wuss are you? If I were your world, I'd rather end myself, and that's a fact. You can't help me. Nobody can. I think so too. The way you're dressed, is there anything else? You're blocking the view of my favorite tree. There's a train? Don't you ever listen? I told you, there's no train. The locomotive still stands up there, but it hasn't moved in a long time. May I take a look at the locomotive? Well, that's rich. Do I look like a museum? I told you, there's no train. Hmm. On the other hand, the idea isn't too bad. I wonder what I could charge for an entrance fee. But the idea of the Railroad Museum has something to it. Hmm, yeah. But the entrance fee, would it in fact pay off? I'm not sure about it. Uh, 
I'd even pay 10 gold coins for something as great as that. Honestly? You think people would pay that much to see a discarded locomotive? Well, it's not just any old locomotive. In fact, it went to Corona, didn't it? So it's a royal locomotive. Royal? That means I've been sitting on a gold mine all the time. And you didn't even notice. How could I have been so blind? Luckily, you've proven your infallible business sense in the end. You can say that again. I almost missed a lifetime opportunity here. Come here, people from far and near. Starting today, Maurice's Majestic Railroad Museum has opened. May I take a look at the locomotive now? Sure. That's ten gold coins. Do you have the money? Not exactly. Actually, I don't have any money on me. Well then, back off. You're blocking the entrance for the other customers. Well? How's business with the museum? I haven't had a single customer. What am I doing wrong? I have a couple of ideas on what to improve. Oh yeah? And why should I listen to you? It's not like you're my advisor or anything. You could hire me as an advisor. Mm. Well, why not? All right. You'll get one gold coin a day after the work is done. So, go ahead. What do you suggest? You should take down all the laundry. It doesn't fit the good name of your museum. Yeah, all right. I see that. Unfortunately, I can't leave here to do that myself. I have to watch the cash box in case a member of staff gets sticky fingers. You could hire me as a laundry boy. Then I can do it for you. Hmm, that seems a little extravagant to me. I'd probably have the only museum with its own laundry boy in the whole region. On the other hand, I can't handle everything myself. All right, so be it. You're hired. You get one gold coin a day after the work is done. Those birds in the front yard are spoiling the aesthetics. It doesn't fit the good name of your museum. Hmm. Yeah, all right. I can see that. But what shall I do? Those darn blighters keep coming back. There's nothing much you can do. You'll have to hire a professional. Well, all right. But where do I find somebody like that? Have I told you that I'm a passionate spare time gardener? I could give it a try. You? Why not? There's nobody else here. All right, all right. If you can scare the birds away, you're hired. You get one gold coin a day as a gardener. Just like I said, after the work is done. You should change the name. Should I really? Definitely. Maurice's Majestic Railroad Museum Sounds way too pompous. What do you suggest? I like Maurice's Medium Museum. Hmm. Less exclusive, but maybe that opens it up for a new line of customers. Maurice's Medium Museum. Uh. All right. Let's name it so then. I hope it'll show some improvement. Do you have any other suggestions? Maybe it's because of the grumpy members of staff? What do you think? Hmm. When I look at you, you're probably right. You look like someone has ridden you. You mean, bitten? I meant what I said. What do you suggest? You should hire a jester. A jester? Have you gone mad? Hey, I happen to know the staff pretty well. I don't want to scare you, but if they don't get some entertainment soon, they may go on strike. A strike? <laughs> All right, but where could I get a jester? You can't do the job yourself. Why not? Do you think I'm not... Uh, I mean, I can't jest? When shall I start? Right away. Great. You'll get one gold coin a day after the work is done. All right. You should introduce uh, staff discount. Staff discount? No way. Why not? Look at it this way. You'd make your staff happy and still get money from them. What? Hey, you're right. <laughs> Those morons. <laughs> All complete idiots. <laughs> All right, it's a deal. Members of staff get a 50% discount. <laughs> First, you should fire the grumpy manager. I could only do that with three months' notice. That's a shame. Oh, 
They'll pick up eventually. I think so, too. I give a motivating speech during the Christmas party, and the problem will solve itself. You could lower the prices. Hmm, I think you're right. I guess eight pieces of gold would be plenty for a visit to Maurice's Media Museum. You could lower the prices some more. Is that more? Well, listen to that. Maurice's Media Museum is well worth eight gold coins. I can't think of anything. <laughs> What kind of an advisor have I hired? You better come up with something or I'll cut your pay. What about my pay? Let's see. You are my gardener, but you haven't scared away the birds yet. Therefore, there's no money for you there. You are my advisor, you are my jester, and you are my laundry boy. The laundry? Oh my, I totally forgot about that. Therefore, there's no money for you there. So you've already earned two gold coins. I'll keep the money until after you've finished work. I don't have any time for conversation. You sure talk a lot for someone who hasn't got time. Una camisa me da a mí que voy a tener que construir un espantapájaros. How on earth did this end up here? How on earth? I'm not that desperate to resort to- It's that other kind of- The kind where you were- I already took that off. That would only make them shore up for a moment. I need a better idea to keep them away from the flower bed for good. It's the correct size, all right, but it would hardly be stable enough. It needs something for arms. That would only make them shore up for a moment. I need a better idea to keep them away from the flower bed for good. que pueda salir de aquí That would only make them shore up for a moment. I need a better idea to keep them away from the flower bed for good. No, that's not ravioli. It's really a shirt. Mission accomplished. Oh, bravo. You scared away the birds. Do you want a staff member of the month badge now or what? Your gratitude is payment enough. Hey there again. It's you again? What's that supposed to be? A siege? What about my pay? Let's see. You are my gardener, you are my advisor, you are my jester, and you are my laundry boy. So you've already earned four gold coins. I'll keep the money until after you've finished work. May I take a look at the locomotive now? Sure. That's eight gold coins. Okay. For you, four. Do you have the money? Not exactly. Couldn't I just take it out of my salary? Hmm. 
Maybe that'll work. First, we have to look at what we've earned so far. Well, you are my gardener. You are my advisor. You are my jester. And you are my laundry boy. So you've already earned four gold coins. All right. It looks like you've earned enough. Welcome to Maurice's Medium Museum. Uh, neat, but how do I get up to the locomotive? Unless... Oh no, another elevator. Why didn't I just stay in Askill's Fortress? Just like in a dollhouse. Cute. I won't fit in there. Typical. Too big to go to bed. It's too small to save the world. Maurice doesn't seem to own very much. That's a good one. There isn't anything in there. Hmm. It all seems to be a little shaky. Hmm. And this shelf isn't very firm either. Hmm. It all seems. Hmm. And this shelf. There's something missing here. And I don't just mean hope. There's something and I don't... The former owner must have left it behind. I can't imagine that Maurice could get up there. It's too high up. I can't read. It's too high up. I must admit, stone but it has to stop. I must admit it has to I'm not that desperate to resort to tights that other the kind where That's a kind of grab rail. There are not nearly enough of those in the world. Yeah. Good to know that there's a grab rail here. I always have the need to hold on to something. I might be mistaken, but I think it needs something to connect those cogwheels. The tether is of absolutely no use as a fee belt. That's a good one. There isn't any... I might be mistaken, but I think it needs something to connect those cogwheels. If the stories are true... There, a beautiful V-belt. That's not necessary. I can easily manipulate it with my bare hands. Pero... No llego. Yeah, good to know. I always have... Observe and learn. Then maybe you'll be able to solve this lever puzzle for me next time. I don't have any time for conversation. You sure talk a lot. For
Hola Barra, ¿qué tal? Sí, pues aquí estamos. Uno de estos especiales que me invento para ir jugando juegos que tengo ahí en la librería de, de Steam o de GOG. El tercer Disc War. Ese era el de que era como una detective, ¿no? O sea que se funcionaba bajo Windows. O sea que ahí a lo mejor va a tener problemas. Porque yo recuerdo que en su día intenté jugarlo en XP y era imposible. O casi imposible. O sea que hasta que no consigan de alguna forma hacer que funcione en Windows modernos. Vale. I'd better keep that thing. It's too high up. I can't. The stone should be heavy enough to hold the lever down. But how can I attach it? I must admit, stones have proven useful several times, but it has to... It's too high up, I can't... This bot is too big for the shelf. You should have eaten fewer royal artifacts. Not right now. I can still put Spot under my shelf when all this is over. He'd make a good paperweight, too. <laughs> Spot will have time to relax later on. First, he's got to make himself useful. Spot will have time to... First, he's got... It's not a bad idea, but the stone isn't heavy enough to hold the elevator down. Good idea. If I tie Spot to the elevator, he might delay it long enough. Don't play hard to get now. I'm sure nothing will happen. Again. Please, no more shenanigans, okay? You know I've got weak nerves. Logro. Spot se transforma en hoja. Ya, y... ¿Qué me vale eso? Observe and learn. Then maybe you'll be able to... Not right now. I can still put speed make a good doormat too. Spot will have time to relax later on. First, he's got to make himself useful. It's too high up. The stone should be heavy enough to hold the lever down. But how can I attach it? A 
I can't just lock spot away. There are no hatches. It looks a lot like Maurice. I'd better leave it where it is. It does its job and does it well. No need to. I already scared the birds away. Observe and learn. Then maybe you'll be able to solve this lever puzzle for me next time. Bueno, no que aquí estoy un poco perdido. ¿Puedo coger los pantalones? Ya, lo puedo utilizar ahora Spot. Hmm, why not? It probably be just as useful. Los pantalones para mantener la piedra y... Can't be it yet. I simply don't have enough time to get to the door. It's too high up. I can't reach it. I'd better keep that thing. I'd better keep that thing. Pensé que llevas... Uh, un... Bueno, no sé si llevas a un gato o no. El compañero del personaje es un gato, ¿no? Se la vi el otro día en, de, en rebajas en, en el GOG. Pero digo, es que tengo tropecientas mil eh, aventuras gráficas por jugar. It all seems to be a little shaky. Mm, and this shelf isn't very firm either. Oof. Did I do that? Vale, ya sé. Para hacer esto, supongo que el canto rodado irá rodando. Wow! Moises Media Museum really is worth the entrance fee. If I want to get this train running, I have to make a fire in the firebox. Wow! Moises Media Museum really is worth the entrance fee. This lock prevents the wheels from churning. I have to remove it. No, I can't do it.
Ah, sí, esos también los vi en GOG. Pero esos están traducidos o no, esos están en inglés, creo, creo recordar. I'm really too clumsy to crack the lock open that way. Heck, the key doesn't fit here. And why should it? Uh, no, I'm really too clumsy to crack the lock open that way. Hey, Spot, can you try to, I don't know, somehow uh, burn this thing open? Ah, forget it. Bueno, yo creía que estaban todos en inglés. De todas formas, yo tengo algún libro de esto de vivir tu propia aventura por Steam. El único que está traducido es el del Bosque Maldito. Eh, lo estuve jugando un rato aquí en The Witch. Acabé convertido en un señor de los demonios. Porque me senté en, el, en un trono y me puse una corona. Bueno, tengo que intentar jugar a ver si consigo pasarme. Eso, el Bosque Tenebroso era, ¿no? I can't push Spot through this narrow gap in his present form. I can't push Spot through. Yes, that could work. Yes, yes, it worked. The coals are burning. Now I only have to disengage the immobilizer system, and off we go. Ah, pero cómo quito esto? Tenía otro de... Creo que es de la misma compañía. O sea, claro, no me acuerdo cómo se llamaba. Eh, pero vamos, es que se llevas a un bárbaro. Yo me voy a por una ciudad y demás. También tengo los Sorcery. Que eso también son como... Libros. Así al estilo de... Vive tu propia aventura. Pero a eso sí están todos en inglés. Pues en un bundle vi otro que tenía así una ambientación estilo Lovercraft. Pero es que no recuerdo si al final lo pillé o no lo pillé. ser con las cosas que tengo aquí porque ir a otro sitio y no puedo ir. Hey, Spot, can you try I don't somehow worm this thing open? Ah, forget. Hey, Spot, can you try to I don't know somehow uh, wobble this thing open? Ah, forget. Hey, Spot, can you try to, I don't know, uh, somehow uh, bounce this thing open? Ah, forget. Hey, Spot, can you try to, I don't know, uh, somehow spool this thing open? Hey, 
Wait a minute. I think I have a plan. There. And now for phase two of my plan, which is uh, developing phase three. Yes! Yes, it worked! The immobilizer system is disengaged. Corona, I'm coming! I hope I'm not too late. And finally, there it was. In the middle of the nothingness between the clouds, on one last needle of rock, there was the castle of Corona. Sadwick had reached his destination. Corona, finally I have arrived. The only thing now is to find a way in. Sí, creo que este sería el último. Pero vamos, ya son casi las tres, o sea que ya. Voy a ir rezando por aquí, que ahora quiero comer. Y al final pillé el libro, el audio, el audio bueno, no quiero decir audio al libro, no. El libro digital este que estaba ambientado en Lovecraft. Puede que no. Pero bueno. No sé, no me acuerdo ahora cómo se llamaba el juego este. Era lo típico, era también. Sí, seguramente si busco el bosque tenebroso también esté dentro de algún paquete, en algún panel. Me parece que es de la misma empresa que hace todos estos libros digitales. también la que hicieron eh, The Warlock of the Fight, Fight of Mountain este también lo tengo que aunque digamos gráficamente ya es más juego también tiene ahí elementos de de libro eh, ¿se me da este el fantasy fighting fantasy? No. Cruise of the Assassin El Warhammer Underworld Online, ese lo tengo, de donde he sacado yo esto. No, pues no, no debe ser de esta misma gente. Todos. 
no sale. Sí, sí, pero no era ese, era otro. Ah, es que no me acuerdo ya ni cómo se llama. Ya apunto a buscar aquí en la biblioteca de Steve, a ver dónde está sin acordarme del nombre. Este no, no, no era. Era llevas como un bárbaro estilo Conan. Así por casualidad está esta gente o algo. Está. No. ¿Cómo se llama? También era eso, era tipo vive toda tu aventura y tirabas dados y demás, pero. aquí en la lista y madre mía tengo juegos que no sé ni de dónde ni de dónde he sacado esto Dragon's Lunch y por la mitad tiene parece un Dark Fortress o algo así no sé ni, ni qué hace aquí en la biblioteca Creía que era la misma gente. Pero claro, no, esto está más mm, dedicado, aunque tiene elementos así de vida tu propia aventura, es más. Eh, está más centrado en el combate. Esta gente también, que es lo que decía los eh, Sorcery, también está entre los que tienen un pack. Este, el Sorcery, el The Warlock of Fire Top Mountain y el Death Trap Dungeon. Ese también lo tengo. ¿De dónde lo sacaba? Ni idea. Sí, quería ser más buenos igual. Sí, era el problema. Tanto por jugar y tampoco tiempo. Sí, 
Este que he visto aquí, el Dragon's Lunch. ¿Qué narices es? Una receta. En septiembre del 2017. 3,49 euros. No tengo ni idea de dónde lo he sacado. Ah, vale, no, es como... Sí, es como un juego de estos de rol y acción con gráficos retro. Rush like. Pero nada, no, ahora sí que lo, lo voy dejando. A ver cuántas traf tengo yo. Sí, sí, eso también lo tengo, el tío aquí. Eh, algún día me pondré. Estos. Pero nada, sí, lo he dicho. Ya hay que ir a comer. Venga, Barney, nos vemos. Y si alguien pone por el chat, cosa que dudo, pues también. Nos vemos en otro momento. A ver, también estás por ahí, Borges. Bueno, luego nos vemos por Discord. Hasta luego.